You know, it's important that we talk about suicide because for so long it's really not been talked about. It's been kept in secret and yet it's the tenth leading cause of death in our country. Okay, so white is lost to child, um, red is lost to spouse or partner, um, gold is lost to parent, orange is lost to sibling, um, purple is lost to relative or friend, green is if you struggled personally, and blue is if you support the cause. And still, we don't have the kind of investment in research and education and advocacy that, that we need to start to turn that around and, and lower suicide. This is our brother Joseph. He passed away last year, April 10, 2011. Very loved, very missed. It's uncle, brother, son. Do anything to have him back today. So uh, youth are, are really a target population where people are trying to establish their own identity and aren't quite sure who they are yet, what they believe in. Elderly are really at a very high age group. They're losing their friends, they're losing their um, reason for living. They are isolated. I miss, I miss my brother. I'm, uh, we all do. Yeah. yeah. Essentially four suicides in our family. My grandfather, my dad, my brother, and the most recent is uh, a nephew, Joe. Joe is my nephew. People often who are battling with bipolar illness or depression, let's say, will, instead of seeking help, self-medicate. And all that does is make it worse and increase their risk for suicide. So substance use, uh, alcohol abuse, those are um, real problems because they do, they do unfortunately, um, often end in suicide. We need to key into things that people say, uh, people who become despondent, who withdraw and become isolated, or they say things, uh, and then we need to tell someone else and get them some help, encourage them to see a counselor, or um, not leave them isolated, make contact. extremely hard. Taylor was my sister. She was 15 years old. Um, she lost her mom when she was two to murder. I just had to do something to honor her life because she thought it wasn't worth living, but it was. I hope Taylor, Taylor knows that we love her and we did this for her and for everybody else who's lost their life to suicide. And when suicide does happen, we are there to support the surviving families and friends and you know they feel so alone, they're lost, they're feeling guilt and shame and we need to help them understand that it's not their fault. I don't know, it's been, it's been a journey for yeah. us just talking about Joey actually, he um, 
he struggled with some mental things that that I guess a lot of us just kind of didn't really realize at the time and and so I think as a family we've struggled a lot with just dealing with the fact that we felt like we didn't know things and the, the guilt that people deal with. Most of these people um, are in a great deal of discomfort and need to find their way out of this very dark hole after losing someone that they love so much. They are finding dysfunction in their life. They're uh, immobilized. Um, if it was a physical pain, they would be in an ICU. I lost my husband May 16th of 2010 to suicide. Uh, we were all just completely devastated. This walk, it started a healing within our souls, our spirits, and our minds. Uh, it makes you feel like you're not alone in this world. And we kind of give him that memory, uh, that recognition, that he was such an important part of our lives. And to acknowledge that we will forever miss him. Uh, but somehow we've come back together again and uh, are walking together as a family. Greg's my husband, love of my life. I was married to him for 32 years. In 2008, he took his own life. In my life, will never be the same without him. This walk has been incredible. We have free support groups, education meetings, and information meetings for family and friends, for people with brain disorders or mental illness. And uh, our goal is to get this information out into the community so they know we're there because everything we offer is free. And it helps them to understand the illness and how to deal with the mentally ill person and help themselves because without keeping yourself healthy, can help them. But this whole part is for you to put beads on it that remind you of your loved ones. And we have alphabet beads, we have number beads, and we have these pretty beads that you can put on there. I can help you with the knot at the end and we'll cut it off and put a little dab of glue on the end. The Crusaders Equestrian Team does charity work. We're a Christian-based charity organization, and we believe that our horses speak for those with no voices. So we have Ally right here. She will be leading the walk, and she's carrying the shoes. This is going to be one of our largest walks in the country. Um, we expect about 100,000 people to walk this fall for suicide prevention in about 270 locations throughout the United States. This event is significant as far as awareness of suicide. Every 15 minutes or so, someone takes their life somewhere in the United States. And we've got to get the message out. We've got to get this voice out that this has to stop. The more people get involved, the more they speak out, uh, the more they raise awareness, and the more they raise money for prevention. And we have a real chance to begin to reverse the suicide rate and save more lives. By walking, you are helping to raise awareness and funds vital to research, education, and support. You, everyone here today, you are walking to save lives. Give yourself a round of applause. I work with Sources of Strength. So Sources of Strength is a, a strength-based holistic prevention uh, program. We work with middle school, high school, college-age populations. By being here today, 
and fundraising for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, all of you are making a difference in losing the stigma surrounding suicide and raising the bar for research, education, awareness, and most importantly, prevention. We found out that there were, as of yesterday at 2 p.m., 1,022 walkers registered for this morning. That's really cool. But as of 9.30 this morning, we had an additional 180 walkers to join us. There's clearly a new sense of optimism that finally, finally, suicide prevention is getting the attention it needs. And we have to, because we must reverse the trend. It's been going up for a decade, and we have to reverse that trend. This is something we must work on every day and stop this. There's so much sadness. Every one of us has been touched by suicide. You can't explain it. All it does is leave a hole in your heart that never goes away. But today as you walk and you follow those horses with those shoes tied to the back on their backs, think about the people that we've lost. Think about making a difference every day. Reach out to someone you love that you have not talked to in a while. Say hi to somebody today at the supermarket or wherever you may go. Share a smiling face, make a difference in somebody's life today, and remember everyone that has lost their life to this. There was a time people did not speak out about this. Families suffered in silence, friends suffered in silence. Well, today that's changing, and it's changing at a rapid pace. We see more people speaking out and getting involved, and that's what's going to begin to really turn this around. Too many of us here today painfully know firsthand that suicide has no boundaries. And participating in this event to help others not be in our shoes continues to be part of my healing and I hope it is for you too. We have to start to look at those who died by suicide as having been lost to an illness. It's not their fault. It's not weakness. Yes. It's not. It's about illness and if we can identify those who suffer and offer them and offer them the same kind of compassion and understanding and treatment, well, then people will not have to die by suicide. They deserve the help. Your walking is making that possible, and I can't thank you enough. Butterfly is a universal symbol of change, resurrection, transformation. The butterfly is symbolic of the soul and its freedom at the time of passing. In legend, she carries wishes to spirit. They are beautiful. May we all have courage, strength, and hope to face one day at a time on this journey. When the night has come and the way is dark and that moon is the only light you see, no, I won't be afraid, no, I won't be afraid, just as long as the people come and stand by me.